Last time on Total Drama Pocketail Island. The teens ran a super slippery race while holding some very rare pork. Ella sang again. And Jasmine won it for the Pima Patel Gino Sewak. And while Team Juanita Muskwak had to say later to Leonard the Larper, they did find a cave to call home. Today's challenge is treacherous, deadly, and unless you're doing it, hilarious. <laughs> will survive to play another day and who will be sent home via giant cannon airlines find out right here right now on total drama Pocketail island You know that you don't have to help me every morning just because Amy tells you to. You... you don't want me to come? That's not what I said. I just want it to be your decision, not hers. Stop letting your sister treat you like a servant. Oh, she never treats me that well. Then do something about it. How can I? She's everyone's favourite. She's the pretty one. You're identical twins. You're both the pretty one. Really? Sammy, look. The first person who stands up for you has got to be you. Wow. So are we, like, friends? If not, that's okay. I don't have a lot of friends, so I'm I'm not. I just... The way Amy treats you bothers me. So, yeah, I guess we're friends. And I have trouble making friends, too. I don't know why, but... People find me a bit intimidating. Maybe I have been letting Amy get away with too much. One time, I let her shave my head so that people could tell us apart. Jasmine's right. I gotta stand up for myself. Hey. G'day, Sean. Um, I'm going over there. So, Sean, any zombies sighted in the area? <laughs> Usually when I talk to a girl, I'm the one who has to bring up the undead. Looks, survival skills, and a healthy fear of reanimated corpses? Man, this girl has everything! No zombie sightings, yet. But they can walk underwater, so they could be on this island right now. Definitely, they could be anywhere. I better get this food back to the others. I'll, uh, uh see you around? I'll be here. Are you talking about zombies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a little running joke between us. Hey, who's hungry? I can eat the legs off a table, and we ain't even got one. Oh, Sean. As a special thank you, I'd like to sing you a song. <clears throat> the fruit Sean brought brought joy to the meat up, Bella. You look skinny enough to run through a rainstorm without getting wet. I got fresh water from the stream. Don't want to get dehydrated during the challenge. Awesome. So great, you are so... The water sky brought, brought joy to the... Thank you, but no song required. Ella, maybe you could go sing to the other team as a sign of, uh, friendly competition? <gasps> that is a wonderful idea. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sky, as I was saying... Nice one, Sean. And great job finding this cave. Hey, if you want help foraging tomorrow... I'll help, too. Tomorrow, I'll forage with you guys. Totally. Ah, uh, sounds great. I'm not digging all the friend stuff going on here. Comfortable people let their guard down. Pfft. Hello? Might as well put out a bowl of brains and a sign that says zombies eat free. Look at all this stuff. Thanks, Jasmine. Thanks, Amy. Amy? It was me, not Amy. Ugh. What is your problem, Samy? I'm tired of you taking credit for things that I do. And Sammy is on the attack. Sammy, this might not be the right time. I'm the nice one. Amy is a monster. <gasps> How could you say that? I'm your sister. <laughs> Jealousy is the lowest form of evil. Sammy, what is wrong with you? I, I, I... <sighs> 
And after laying down some brutal blows, Sammy heads off. Will Team Muskrat be able to get past this? Stay tuned to find out. Good morning, other team. Who'd like to hear a song? No one, Ella. It's challenge time. All butts to the meeting area in five. I'm coming, Chris. I'm gonna go check on Sammy. Poor Amy. <laughs> She's gonna be crushed when I tell her it's over. But I can't deny what my heart is writing in the stars. It's writing, Jasmine. <sighs> Morning, Chris. Totally pumped for today's challenge. Oh, good. I can't tell you how little that means to me. You think I could explain the challenge to the others? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's kind of the host job, Topher. Right, right, I'm sorry, just excited. It's like we're already winners because we got to meet Chris. The Chris McLean. Wow! Well said, Topher. That Topher's as wily as a hog with a library card. I wouldn't trust him any farther than I could throw a tractor. And that ain't more than a couple of feet. Gather round, victims. Today's game is called Doom Balloons. You had me at doom. Shh. Go ahead, Chris. You'll have 10 seconds to collect a bunch of balloons that are filled with who knows what. Talc, paint, itching powder, bees, spiders, bird poop. It's always a surprise. <laughs> Yay! Who doesn't love a surprise? None of you. None of you will love a surprise. <laughs> Chris, I love the way you'd... If you're hit with any balloon contents, you're out. It doesn't matter if the balloons are thrown, dropped, launched, kicked, or sent by courier. Last player standing wins it for their team. Get your balloons, people! The hunting doesn't start until you hear the air horn. Me and Chris are pretty tight. I wouldn't be surprised if he asked me to co-host or something. I mean... Oh, gotta go! Surely there must be something I can build with these pieces. Something deadly and evil. I've hidden bits and pieces of pure evil all over this wretched island. <laughs> My evil laugh is a work in progress. No matter. I shall win this challenge because of my abnormally large brain and my super advanced hearing. No one has ever, ever been able to sneak up on me. What are you doing, Max? It's very technical. You wouldn't understand. Okay. Wait! Fine. If you must know, I'm going to tape everything I have together into one long stick, then put my balloons on the end, thereby allowing me to hit people with said balloons from a safe distance. Wow. That's so evil. Yes. Thank you for... It's too bad there isn't a way to launch something sharp. You know, to pop their own balloons onto them. <laughs> I've got an even better idea. Yes, I'll build a rapid-fire balloon-busting device that fires projectiles and pops their balloons before they can throw them. Wow, your mind is so powerful. Scarlet is hopelessly in love with me, but I must remain focused on my work. Evil doesn't date. First, I will control this island. Then this hemisphere, then the world! <laughs> there it is! That was an evil laugh! No! Oh, it's you! Hey, Sky. I was thinking, maybe we could team up, you know? Watch each other's back? Dave's a nice guy, and he is cute. But I have to keep my head in the game. I can't let myself be distracted by his eyes, or that hair, or his smile. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, right. No distractions. I think I'll go it alone. It's nothing personal, Dave. It's just easier to be silent when you're by yourself. Are you saying you find talking to me just too tempting? <laughs> um, if that's how you want to interpret it, okay. 
It's not like I'm falling for her. I mean, sure, yes, she's really cute and totally awesome at anything and everything, and she has those deep eyes, that silky hair, and what was I saying? Oh, right, yeah, I'm falling for her. Going it alone might work sometimes, but I feel that <laughs> It worked! <laughs> you should be taking notes of my genius! Max is really enjoying the game. Obviously, he doesn't know what sort of surprises are waiting in the rest of those balloons. <laughs> Stay tuned for more mayhem when we return to Total Drama Hakatel Island! Sugar, you should have hidden better. What? Thanks for washing my face, hefty worm. I feel cleaner than a sink made of soap. Now beat it. You can't throw snakes at people unless the snakes are in a balloon. Then it's okay. Sky, yikes! Man, they really got you good. Oh, sorry. But hey, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, you. you think? Wowzers. Sorry I got you knocked out of the game, Sky. And I'm sorry all the bees went after you. I mean, I'm glad, but. You're glad? Because I'm allergic to bee stings. And tomatoes, wheat, and peanuts, flowers, mountain lion dander, and most fruit flavored gums. Seriously? Well, I've never been tested for any of it, but I've always suspected it's better to err on the side of caution when dealing Dave. with. Dave! You have to warn the others that Team Ginosewak are using our own balloons against us. We've lost two challenges already. We need to win this one, Dave. You got it, Sky. I am on it. Tree! <laughs> hey, Chris! Topher, you're in the middle of a challenge, dude. I know, but it's important. You gotta call in the makeup department to do something about those crow's feet. Crow's feet? Yeah, it looks like they were wearing cleats. What if kids start twerting about how old you look and the network decides to replace you with a younger host? Replace me? <gasps> makeup! Whoa! Even with all the branches and twigs on the ground, she moves so silently. Wow. Look, I don't want to like her. 73.6% of all men who die in zombie movies die because the girl they love becomes a zombie, and when it comes time to cut her head off, they get all sentimental about it and they hesitate. When there are zombies on your tail, man, thinking is the last thing you want to do. Hello, beautiful butterfly. You're so delicate. You should hide until our game is done. Oh, it's you. Look, Sugar, just because my balloon is made to do harm doesn't mean that it can't look adorable and constantly delighted to be here. Man, oh, whoa. That girl could bug the stink off a donkey. Oh, Sugar, I just know we're going to be the best of friends. I heard something. Duh. Sugar? Tree has eyeballs! Eyeball tree! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's me, Sean! I camouflage myself with mud and moss. I know all my cake decorating skills will come in handy someday. <laughs> Who orders a cake that looks like tree bark? I mean, how many beavers celebrate their birthday? Bakers have been hiding in plain sight, covered in icing camouflage, like, since the dawn of time. At least that's what my old boss at the bakery used to tell me. Mind you, he also said the pyramids were built by pastry chefs, so... Rest assured that as long as you're with me, you are safe. Ah! Revenge! Awesome shot! FYI, someone burst Sky's balloons while she was holding them. Huh, smart trick. I doubt it was Max. I have to find just the right words to end my relationship with Amy so she isn't left shattered like a cabbage in a cabbage shatterer thingy. Ah! 
Come on, words. I need you. Way to make a total fool of yourself in front of everybody, Sammy. Oh, I got the food, and I'm the nice one. Blah, blah, blah. Voice of an angel. Sooner or later, Amy, everyone will know what you're about. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, Sammy. May I have a moment with Amy, please? Rodney, you can have all of the moments with Amy. <laughs> Are you crying? Amy, I don't know how to tell you this, so I'm just gonna say it. I, the true love, gold beast, mountaintop. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, what of cabbage, and hill. God. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I deserved that. <laughs> wow, good makeup job, dude. You look 20 years younger. It's like you're 30 again. I am 30. Oh, um, yeah, I know. And now you look it, but you could use some moisturizer. Oh, oh, thank you. Did you see that? You're out of balloons, Dave. You might want to skedaddle. Moisturizer, huh? <sighs> All this walking is good exercise. But it's also important to exercise our hearts with some. Smiles can help with trials and tribulations. Chris! She's singing again! <laughs> might want to keep quiet next time, girls. Oh, man! Did I hear singing again? Did I? Yes, on account of her sing song, she got us hit with balloons full of mustard, relish, and some third thing I can't identify. If my song was the cause of that, then I am. Okay, as long as the singing caused you pain, Ella, I'm happy. <laughs> what the? Itching powder? Really? I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to this. Everyone is allergic to it. It's itching powder. Ah! Well done, Sammy. You took out Dave. Whoa, loud cough of interruption. I was the one who took Dave out, not Sammy. I can tell you apart, and Sammy's shot was just excellent. Okay, since when does anyone take Sammy's side? She's just a wannabe me, a spare Amy. <gasps> Her name should be Spare Me. I am gonna change her birth certificate as soon as we get home. Since Sammy's the only one with a balloon left, we should stick together. I spotted Sean's hiding spot earlier. Follow me. He's right below us. You take the shot, Jasmine. I don't wanna mess it up. And she would. You can do this, Sammy. I know you can. Drop it right down on him. Give me that. You'll miss. Amy, stop messing about. It's mine. No, let go. No! Game over. Team Musquak wins the challenge. Ugh. Way to go, Sammy. You ruined everything. I'm telling. Well, good thing for Sammy they weren't born Siamese twins, or I reckon Amy would have eaten her by now. Whenever I have something Amy wants, she just takes it. Always, always, always. Huh, always. Tonight's winners get to enjoy dinner from Mary's Lamburger. That's Mary's Lamburger and Barbecue Emporium. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> had. <laughs> Look, give me that. You don't deserve to eat. And I've talked to the rest of the team about how you lost us the challenge. Enjoy being cannon fodder. See you at the elimination ceremony. Spare me! <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and you enjoy that manchineal fruit. All right, players. Those of you holding a marshmallow are safe for now. <laughs> Amy? Sammy? One of you is going home tonight. Amy, you seem more concerned with bossing Sammy around than with helping your team. And Sammy, <coughs> it was your balloon that cost your team this challenge. The sister heading home is... <coughs> oh, it 
ignore her. She's just trying to get sympathy. Aren't you, Sammy? Can't understand what you're saying, Sammy. And it really doesn't matter, because you've been voted off. I wish I could understand. It sounds really important. <laughs> <sighs> She's had it coming for years. I guess twinning isn't everything. The old switcheroo. Good for Sammy. Eleven players remain, but only one goes home with a million dollars. Find out who lasts and who blasts on the next Total Drama. Oh, good hell.